Record means rewind, a gunshot means forward. You requested it, so we rewind. Yeah. Way, way, way up. Turn it all up. Yeah. All right, so this beauty drove all the way down <laughs> from uh, the ends of the earth. The other side of Canada. The lighting's actually really good here. You're They're winning right now. Like I was like, I'm driving up. It's all cold. I had no veins. Like, just, just getting so mad, so honking at people. <laughs> Rage pump. I was uh, uh, seriously ready to jog. I was ready to jog from Halton Hills to Toronto. So Should have. So bad it was. <laughs> Probably be faster. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just, just nachos. Yo, know, nacho libre. <laughs> We were talking till the morning, one night And I told you all my secrets, that time And I know, I know, I know I gave too much I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to give you up We were texting each other, all day In my head you were my lover, my babe Stop screwing around, let's start filming. <laughs> oh wait, it's Scott! <laughs> How you feeling, big guy? <gasps> Talk to the camera, dude. You do that so often. 
Yeah, on Snapchat we'll do a bunch where I'm not talking just so people are screaming the ball. <laughs> Except uh, you can hear background noise too. Honestly, it's kind of hard for me to get away from my Pokemon training, but you gotta hit the gym a bit. I'd really like to get back to the gym. Team Yellow. Okay guys, so basically we've been in the gym for about three hours now. The main reason I want to get out of here is because we need to go play Pokemon, right? <laughs> there. There we go, yeah. First team. Hey, we got it. How did he even get that camera? There you go. Woo -woo. Now he does it. Oh yeah, we are we are going into you know Blaze Pizza is right over there, eh? Yeah. Is it hot in there? <laughs> now we know you're like a cheap meathead because you don't have Calvin Klein underwear. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> he takes that back. Uh. We are back at none other than Blaze Pizza. Even though we got it like two days ago, we had to bring these guys here. First time? First time. Uh, first time. First time for you guys. Uh, can I like double that chicken if possible? Hey, what you guys have um, mozzarella uh, and uh, soda. I'm good with that. Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, I'm good with that. Yeah. 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 What we're doing is we're gonna drop our stuff off in the locker and then we're gonna go and play some Pokemon for the next few hours. Pokemon Go! I wanna be the very best Like no one ever was To catch them is my real test To train them is my cause Alrighty guys, so right now we're outside catching Pokemon. Uh, I just got a message saying I hit 10,000 steps. Yeah, tell them about our, we both. Yeah, so we just got this new Fitbit and one thing for me is my sleep is absolutely horrible. So it's a good way to monitor my sleep, make sure I'm active, um, you know, check out my resting heart rate and do all those cool things. So right now, especially the fact that Pokemon just came out, it's making sure that we're active as well. We made sure to get all our work done earlier and we're just about to go have some fun for a few hours. So I went out, picked up a Fitbit Blaze, and it was so sick. I'm like, yo, Kyle, get one. He bought one the next day. It just does so much. I can like log my workouts, heart rate, stairs. It's kind of cool, because I, I like to monitor things so I know my consistent activity level. If I'm under, I'll eat a little bit less. If I'm over, I'll eat more. So it, it provides more avenues for me to be as accurate as possible with this weight loss through this challenge. Uh, Pokemon's a ton of fun. It's really cool to explore our city. We're about to go try and find this power lifter. Apparently, he's a huge guy. Let's see if we can find him. So I don't know if you guys know this, but this is my school, we're on my campus. I'm going here for four years. Never in my life did I know till now. So the game has these little checkpoints, I don't know if you can see it. But case in point, there's this power lifter. Never seen it in my life, and now I know why. There it is. I'd like to be able to show you guys it better, but it's just covered in leaves. All right, so I like taking over the gym. This is my Snorlax. I like to let them know who's doing it. At Colossus Fit, let's go. Make sure you're following on Instagram and Snapchat. One of the most rarest Pokemon I just caught sight of. So what are we doing right now? Slapping my fellow Torontonians with my Snorlax. Big boy, uh, team big boy. Done, watch this. That's my gym now. Oh, we need to take more. It's still not our gym. I need to beat it again. Alrighty, so after using Pokemon Go for a total of a couple days, I have a couple final thoughts on it, uh, and I just want to share my insights with you guys, what I think, and uh, some things to be aware of. So I think it's an awesome app, um, and the main reason I think it's amazing is because it gets a lot of people out there and active. So I've never been the type of guy to sit behind uh, a TV or a computer screen and just play like computer games or anything for like four or five hours. Like I always like to be doing something and the fact that Pokemon Go actually gets you to go outside and be active I think is absolutely amazing. Especially since I've noticed like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 year olds, it's so common for people to be stuck behind a TV screen for a couple hours just watching TV or playing video games and no one seems to be going outside and actually socializing and uh, being active. So I think this is an awesome way, especially the fact that if you guys have played you'll know that for you to hatch any eggs, you actually have to travel a certain amount of uh, kilometers. So there's like a two kilometer, a five kilometer, and a 10 kilometer egg, which is super awesome. Like I found myself, I was actually gonna uh, hop in the car and drive to my buddy's house this morning. 
Um, but instead of doing that, I actually just walked because I wanted to hatch my egg, and I think that's super awesome because it'll, you know, it promotes a lot of people to be healthier and to make healthier choices and to, you know, at least be active. But um, aside from that, I think there are a few things that you need to look out for, especially for those of you who are just, you know, walking through parking lots and just constantly looking at their phone without actually, you know, looking around and making sure that there's no cars or anything in sight. The app does give you this warning, but I think a lot of people I've noticed are just constantly looking down and it could potentially be dangerous for them. And I think for those who don't actually understand the game, some may think that it may lead to you being unsocial because you're constantly walking around looking down at your phone. But I found, it, especially from playing it for a couple days, it actually has promoted um, you know, to, you to be more social. Like yesterday, Josh and I were in the Guildwood and we, uh, we were battling a guy in the gym. We were about to take over a gym and someone came up to us and was like, damn man, that Snorlax is huge and like whatever. And we just started talking about Pokemon and life and stuff. And it was pretty cool because like I find when you have something in common with someone, then you know it's just a lot easier to talk to people so i've found that you know everyone just seems to be socializing a lot more although you may be looking down at your phone you'll still socialize with those around you and i think it's just super awesome so i highly suggest you give it a try um, you know don't knock it until you try it but thanks for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoy it and uh, you know stay fit summer flex guys let's get it see you later